Tom, what's this video? 2024 outer season starts now. Three days. Sunday. Is it? Yeah, three the days. First race block, I have one race in Marrakesh. You have three races. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, before you go, he started last week. With a standard straight away. Yeah, boom. Uh, straight out the door. Yes, first race uh, in two years. This race. Yeah, true. Sure. And off if it's the European standard. Uh, you no. need a bigger one. Yeah. yeah. Bigger yeah. fishes to fry, as they say. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we don't fry, we ferment. Bigger yeah. fishes to ferment. Bigger fish to ferment. Tom has some snacks. No, Yoli made it for George. They're plant based. Yeah, but I see chocolate chips. Oh, lad, we're on the way. Yeah. Last time we left at this time was when we traveled to Cape Town. Yeah, I actually was thinking that this morning. My alarm actually went off at... You remember that run? Five. Yeah. The 5.50. Shits. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, today was actually good. Two before, one after. I've prepped my breakfast, made some eggs, rice. Now you go to railing and I go to Marrakesh. I think my packing was slightly easier than Tom's. The car's pretty full. <laughs> I have one small hand luggage case and a rucksack. He's packed everything he owns. So my travel could either be for three or four days or a month, so. Yeah, fail to prepare, prepare to fail. And maybe we should talk about how training's been going for you. All right. Yeah. Still, same thing as before. Mornings I ran, evenings I was on the bike. The sessions uh, have been pretty good. Yeah, I think I'm ready to race now. Mm. And not so much change for me. Still in pretty high volume. Oh, we can't give away the race week volume. That's uh, that's yeah, top secret. Now we may beep. Yeah, the, you bleep this layer. Um, yeah, I'll be like, it's all right. Oh. Made it. That was pretty tight. Oh, Tom put the wrong place in the station. Uh, wrong place in the sat nav. So we arrived there at 8:30, and then we're like, oh, yeah, we're here. So, just arrived in Madrid. We've got like a one and a half hour late over here. Gonna head to the uh, the gate for the flight to Marrakesh soon. Be, be nice to get there. Been a long day, probably 14 hour travel day, or 15 maybe. I guess by the time I do pre-meet tomorrow, it's pretty much a day off even though. I gotta run and that in, so. Yeah, can't, can't complain. Here he is. Oh, what's, what's he got? Just a cappuccino decaf. Oh, decaf. Oh, he yeah. wants to sleep on the flight. Yeah, yeah. Just, you know, That's an intelligent travel traveler, yeah. yeah. What you got? I had some food and now I have this bad boy. This is the track. Another influencer over here. Typical. Show us the phone. One I had need to make Paris for the upgrade. The Tokyo one. Yeah. You had the Paris one before, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had it for five years, you oh, know, 2016 until 21. Yeah, COVID made him keep his phone for longer. Pretty sweet stadium. Had to urgently get the cap on. Seeing sun for the first time in a few weeks. Burn the old head, you know. And obviously, not wearing sun cream. But by tomorrow night, it'll be all right. We race at like eight, so sun should be down. Pre-meet done. 6k easy jog six by a hundred pretty relaxed just to turn the legs up shake the volume and stuff from the last few weeks out the legs so nothing too crazy nice and easy charlie there taking a nice instagram picture of the sign rabat slash marrakesh diamond league even though it's marrakesh don't know why they have both but yeah head back to the hotel now i think i got got some treatment in like an hour or something get a bit of a loosener and then dinner bed so pretty cool we got given like a traditional moroccan top i think it's the material's well nice i think it looks pretty slick as well quite ha quite happy with that so shake out done on race day just a light 3k yeah this is how i put together the shakes uh, oh no yeah in another race day vlog what are you today coach or physio uh i think i'll do a little bit of both no yeah i'll be coach just run fast it's easy yeah, yeah that's the plan heading to the bus in 20 minutes yeah. and go time beautiful overhead view there of the george mills was actually well ahead of habs in the diamond league final in eugene when he ran a brilliant mile race and he was so disappointed not to make the british team it's hard to do that these days elliot giles did make the british team for the world championships last year 
1500 meters, fast pace that's been asked for here, 151.5. He's looking for a quicker pace here, Elliot Giles, and always a bit breezier. I'm running this rather than the steeplechase. Who's uh, only five from the back as well, so it's the big names we thought. Yeah, they're just starting to close up the, uh, the guys who certainly would have expected to be contending this they just george mills is tracking his teammate elliot giles habs is looking good the tall frenchman in his thing so it's going to be habs from elliot giles and Fellaini just getting a little bit more tired george mills moving up and then michelle taking closer order Get giles with mills on his shoulder get him they're chasing him hard but they're not going to catch him this is going to be a win for habs it's going to be pretty quick mills just gets second ahead of giles and germa and it's a big butt so just got back to the hotel didn't take the camera to the race because probably needed to focus rather than vlog but second tonight a bit of a weird one a bit slower than planned in terms of the pace but yeah good good opener couldn't couldn't really push so much but yeah managed to get second in the end so can't complain too much Oslo in 10 days time now so yeah, got a good workout in after and then back to San Moritz for some training. Dad, what did you think of it? Coach is relatively satisfied for a Ross Buster. Yeah. As I'm the new coach nice. slash physio. Yeah, yeah. But you can do better. Yeah, always. Anything but a win is unacceptable, right? So yeah, on to the next one.